Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Sneaker Dan, back at again with another video and got great news. The two shoes that are older from Nike, they have finally come in and then um so I'm gonna start off these videos right now and hopefully these two videos will be uploaded by an end of today or end of tomorrow night. Um but let's get right into it. So the first package I'm gonna go over is the Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Um these released I believe like a couple of months back, a month or two ago. Um, the shipments have been pretty much delayed in terms of stock numbers of the shoe. So um, they've been like, re um, they've been releasing the shoe in small increments in a lot of just like out like different stores and like other suppliers. Um, I got these from the sneakers app. Thankfully, uh, I actually hit on the reserves for the sneakers app. So pretty happy about these. Um, I'm pretty excited to wear these. But let's get right into it. So. First things first, the box. The box is pretty simple. Pretty much the red um, Jumpman logo with with the title "Flight" on it. Um, pretty much uh, the typical Jordan Four box has a cement type of outlining across. I got these in a uh, size nine and a half, uh, nine and a half men's, and then these were retailed one hundred ninety, so plus tax here in Maryland. They they're around like two hundred one, two hundred and six dollars, I believe. Um, but box is pretty standard, typical Jordan 4 box. Oops, open it. And, and here they are. It is the Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Boom. Um, yeah, they look really great. Um, just initial impressions of these, um, initial opinions. They look great. They look amazing, honestly. Um, really like the all black with the hints of the really strong crimson red on it. Um, let's get into materials. Materials with, of this Jordan 4 in particular, um, it's pretty similar to the, um, I will say probably the, um, the Jordan 4 Jordan 4 breads in terms of just um, materials wise. Um, it has like a little, it has definitely feel, it feels like suede, most likely nubuck on um, upper across the whole shoe. It's very soft, very buttery, uh, very smooth to touch. Um, doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like it's like low quality materials. It feels like pretty decent quality. Um, yeah, it is pretty good. The new box is pretty strong, um, as well as on the bottom of the midsole, midsole of the shoe, pretty much has the encapsulated um, air unit at the heel, heel of the shoe. I believe there is um, air pretty much across the whole shoe itself as you're in form. These are not the most comfortable shoes, but just so you guys know, there is um, a whole Nike air unit inside the shoe itself. Um, the, in, the insoles of the shoes, I believe, are not polyurethane, I believe. Pretty sure these are the cheap ortholite ones. Let me see. Just off the off of the feel. Yeah, these are these cheap from the cheap um ortholite insoles. These are not the polyurethane soles that everyone really loves in the shoes. Um, bottom of the shoe, of the shoe, pretty much has the good old the good old herringbone traction on here on the bottom. Pretty decent with the Jumpman logo on the bottom right here as well. Um, in terms of just design wise, design looks great. Jordan 4s are probably one of my favorite shoes right now. Um, they're definitely been going up in my um, favoritism like rankings in terms of shoes right now. I've been really loving the 4s. I've been rocking a lot of them. Um, overall, the colors of the shoe is really great. It's pretty simple, all black, very bright crimson red in terms of the shoe. It's pretty similar to the... Um, the Jordan 4 Thunders, which is the black and yellow ones. These are just the black and red. They look really nice, in my opinion. Um, overall rating, I'll give these a pretty solid 9 out of 10. Um, just because of one, the, the colors are great. However, it's not, not too much going on. It's a simple black and red overall. And the second thing is probably just because of the materials of the shoe. Materials are not amazing, of course, because it is Jordan brand and Nike. So materials are not the greatest. But, of course, if they actually improved on the materials and I provided decent better ones each and every time, the rating will go up. But overall, the shoe is pretty decent. Build quality is good. Quality control is there. Gives these a solid 9 out of 10 um, in terms of the shoe. Um, I believe these are reselling from size 9 to size 10 around the 280 to $320 range right now and currently on stock X. So if you are trying to hit and grab a pair of them for resale, that's the price range right now currently. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick video and overview. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.